Ah, hello friends and welcome back to Dawn of Sorrow. We are doing good. I'm doing good. I'm having a good day today. Today's a good relaxing day. I've killed this Valkyrie so many times that I'm probably about to level up off of it. There was, okay, there's no way I could have scripted that actually. I, I just, there's no actual way it would have been possible for me to script that. I just want to point that out. I just, I feel compelled. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, I've been farming that. Can I, can I see how many of these I've, I've beaten? Enemy, no, enemy. What? What? Yeah. Uh. Hold on, I need, I just messed up my config. Heck it. Did I? No, what, hold on. Yeah, that's messing up. That's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed something up. I messed something up. This is supposed to be B, and that's supposed to be Y, I think. Perfect. Okay. Um, enemy. Valkyrie, 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 Valkyrie. I gotta find this. I gotta find this. How many have I killed? Please tell me how many I've killed. Did not tell me how many I've killed? Oh my goodness. I have been farming this Valkyrie. I mean, a lot. Oh, I've just been going back and forth here. I even have it down to a rhythm where I come out here, toss it, repeat. This has been my... I have done this so many times and I guess I don't need to anymore. Actually, I kind of do. I wouldn't mind a second soul. It's fine. I hit the live button and all of a sudden everything in my life is better. That's how it normally works though. So like nothing big change, you know? My life is always a little bit better when I hit the live button. But anyways, um... I set up a little bit of a farming set with this, uh, triple sevens, which I can switch back to breastplate, and this pendant, which is just very nice. I got a few upgrades. You'll notice I have this whip knuckle. It's basically just a punch that gives me a little bit of extra range. Big fan. Big fan of the punchy fist. My other set has the Burge, which is just hits hard. You can see here, um, there we go. You can see here that we have, uh, a lot of places to go. I think I'm gonna go to the left and up. I think, maybe, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I've been farming that Valkyrie for ages because that was an upgrade requirement for a weapon. And then th there's this thing. Oh yeah, I also got upgrades on slimes. And yes, the upgrade on slime affects how many you can throw it at a time. So I can throw out like seven slimes at a time right now. It's actually kind of crazy and a lot of fun. All right, I'm going to go back. We have a lot of areas to explore. Ow. Yeah, for aerial, that cleaving jump works real well. Uh, hold on, I need to upgrade the, the game audio slightly. Let me just... Whoop. That's not enough. Hold on a sec. Let me show you my ridiculous face for a moment as I go into my settings. Volume, volume, volume. Where is volume? How do I change volume? Audio! <coughs> Is that better? That sounds better. Okay, where was I? Hi! Welcome to the stream! We're uh, playing Castlevania or something. I messed this up so bad. I got... Look, I had like a whole intro planned. I had like a whole thing I was gonna say, you know? Like, you know, welcome ab aboard. I, I, I even think I even had like a joke coming into the, to the stream. And then I actually got that soul and it actually tilted me. Like, I actually unironically got a little tilted because I wasn't expecting to get this soul. Like at all? Because I genuinely have farmed a lot. Oh well. Like, I genuinely, unironically stopped farming because I was afraid I was getting too high level. Like, I, I don't know... It's fine. It's fine. We got it. We got the soul. Now what do we do with it? Ow. Ow. 
Ow, buddy. We're not that strong, but we do have a fancy punch fist, and that's what really counts in this life. In this simple workaday life, having a fancy fist to punch someone with, that sounds so strange. I have no idea what I even mean by this. Oh yeah, we also got this thing. So we have a manticore tail, which is actually pretty cool. It basically serves as an extra attack. It slowly drains a little bit. You're gonna, you're gonna attack? Okay, apparently it can be a bit uh, precocious. Ow. These things are, will always hit me. I just have no idea how to fight them, and they are clearly stronger than me. And that's okay, you know? You gotta have to have weaknesses. My weaknesses is, um... Skeleton apes. Skeleton apes are my weakness. Apparently. That sounds so strange. Um, it is strange. Ah, stupid corpse weeds. So, I honestly want to start heading back towards... Uh, does it even get me towards the direction I want to do? Whatever, I'm going up here. No, we're not. We can't... Wait, can I jump... Do I have... We'll get... Uh, did I get a double jump? I feel like I got a double jump. I... Did I not? What did we get last episode? I forgot. Best bat is a familiar. I... I get a Valkyrie. What does that do? Oh my goodness. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean... Transition goals, I guess. <laughs> Wah! That's ridiculous. I don't know if that's going to be useful, but you know what? It's kind of cool. Not actually amazing. Okay, so what did we get? What did we get? I guess we didn't get any movement abilities? I guess we just have to explore more. Yeah, I guess it's just time to explore more. Okay. Whatever we do. I still can't get that guy. Look, it's okay to have weaknesses, even if it's skeleton apes. I'm gonna go back to town, though. Because we got a Valkyrie soul. And you saw me get it live. You can confirm that I, I acquired it in a legitimate way. I cannot believe that I just got that out of nowhere. Alright. Sure. We did miss a couple lines of dialogue while I was farming. Literally nothing important. Um, Yoko is worried about um, Arikado and thinks that uh, Julius might be a jerk, because he is. And um, Hammer is just inconsolably horny all the time. So we can turn the great sword into the legendary sword de Randall, which actually is, I believe, a, a legendary sword. We can also use it to turn on. Yeah, great sword can turn into Durandal. I thought it was, yeah. And then the axe, we could farm the great axe armor. And the great sword, yeah. Okay, so we could do that, if we want to. Or we could keep the Valkyrie. I don't know. I just tried to upgrade things, okay? Like, I, that was merely just my plan, was just to get some upgrades going. I guess you're trying hard. Okay, sure. But yeah, we have a great sword. We have the halberd. Yeah, the, the halberd can upgrade to lance. Or the great sword can upgrade there. We have both options. We have tools. We have the kotetsu, which can upgrade. Look, okay, we're doing good, pretty good, is what I'm saying. We're doing good. We got the whip knuckle. That's what I really cared about. That was the actual important thing. Is that I can punch better. We have, we got bunches of punches, right? We got bunches of punches back. That's the core. That's the most important thing. Hello, hammer. Are you? Can you allocate a cold shower? Hey, welcome. Got some good. Okay, sure you did. What do you got for me, my dude? I do need to buy. Like, a couple high potions. I do not have a lot of money. Oh wait, I have no more money. I hope you don't have anything cool. Um... I kinda do want the tomahawk, but like... I don't know why the boomerang doesn't upgrade to the tomahawk. It feels like it ought. And we know where there's a gun. I think the goal for today is to find a gun. The goal for today is to... Wah. Let's see, we're, we're, we're going to go to America. That's the plan. One of the Castlevania games takes place in America, doesn't it? Like, okay, this one takes place in... The original ones take place in Transylvania, right? They take place in, in Europe. This one took place... Our uh, last one took place in Japan. 
but had has an American character in it. Ow. What a jerk. Also, the Mandragora Soul is amazing, and I've been absolutely abusing its glory. It is beautiful, it is amazing. Ha! You didn't hit me this time! Sh shut up. <laughs> I see you typing! I see you typing! Don't think I don't see that! That. Okay, no, we can't go that way. Where can we go? We can go to the right. I'm, I don't care anymore. That, I'm just gonna let him hit me. I deserve it at this point. Pro dodge. I was also going to farm a Yorick Skull, but I didn't know actually how to. I don't know if I need to attack the head, or if I need to attack the body, or if I just need to do both, because one of them disappears. Dang it, one of these days I will punch a barrel. Alright, so I can't go up there. So really, I have no way, until I get a double jump, I have no way of going up, ascending this area. So I guess we're done in the gardens. It's a cool zone. I love the aesthetic. The bit of green inside the dreary castle is a nice touch. And then ch contrasting that directly with the colorful uh, frescas here. I guess just stained glass, not really frescas. Mini double soap. It's actually a nice touch. Okay. I think I also, I also had to farm one of those. And it really highlighted how different enemies want to be attacked by different weapons. Not probably not want to. I mean, I guess they don't really want to. They don't really have much of a say because I'm going to attack them. Different enemies really do have not weaknesses, but some weapons just work better against them. Like this witch, a heavy two-handed weapon is going to be much better for cleaving them out of the sky. Whereas these little uh, these dudes here. Ooh, what's that? Ow. Like, a straight thrusting weapon, like a rapier or a lance would probably be best against them. But not because it does more damage, you see. Purely because it's just a better weapon to be using against them. Oh, there was a teleport right here. Amazing. Okay. If I tap out the Vuge, do I have anything else that does halfway decent damage? I mean, I kind of want something that is in between. Nope, it's really just 57 or might as well be punching. Punch, 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 punch. Yo, you're nice! Summon an archer to support you. Nice! Do you think the Elmenoric archer in this inspired the, uh, the Elven Arab archers in Elden Ring? I actually don't know. That'd be an interesting research paper. Um, let me study that and <gasps> wait, what are you? You're a help. I need your soul. I need help or soul. You are one of the, my target enemies. Ow, I do not like fighting you though My next punch upgrade comes from one of those. Hey, we found one. I'm not gonna spend the entire episode farming them Probably the Probably I mean it's right here though Okay, so three swipes with the bouge. Too many punches, and it's too easy for him to hit me when I'm punching him. So let's try. Okay, so two Mandragora are, is, is a safe and easy way to take him down. Okay, nice. I have my farming pattern for Hellboys coming up. I'll be doing that between episodes. Ooh. We finally got a ghoul soul. Eat food that is normally unpalatable. That's actually pretty good, because we find a lot of, like, rotten meat and stuff, and usually it's just garbage trash. What are you? Uh... Babrikia. Babrikia? Babrikia. I don't know. Something like that. Two thousand? That's a lot of money! I feel like that thing's gonna have an important soul, too. What do we got over- ah, wait, no. Back, back up, up? No, game, game, oh. I can't jump up through that. I was expecting I'd be able to pass through it a little bit. I couldn't. Hello, cool dragon thing. Gosh, the Mandragora soul is so good, though. 
But like here, the, the punch fists are useless. Whereas the wide swing arc of the bouche is amazing. Traveler keep. I feel like they experimented with that in many of the Mega Man games too, where some of the enemies were not actually so much weak to an, uh, one of the attacks, but rather that that attack was just the best attack against them. Now, they were also weak against it usually as well, but in the later Mega Man games, they made it so... There we go. In the later Mega Man games, they made it so that the attacks that they were weak against were also attacks that they were... Uh, how to phrase? The, that were effective against them. What do I mean by that? Well, the attacks that they were weak against were also the attacks that logically made sense for their patterns. So rather than just picking the weapon because it would do extra damage, which some of the older Mega Mans did, you would pick a weapon... Oh, wait, can I not get up that? Oh, wait, I may have just made a horrible mistake. I don't have... Um... I can't get back... Oh, this side. I'll go up this side, that's fine. Okay, we're fine on this side. Okay, okay, okay. No, kind of. I'm dumb, but it was still... Jade, Jade, it's just a jump. Make the jump. It's a platformer. Platform. Ah! Okay, okay. Th that's on me. That one's on me. It's fine. Let's jump over here. I didn't even need to do that, honestly. Alright, we have another... Barbacoa. Wait, Barbacoa is a type of pork? Wait, what's Barbacoa? This is a Barbaricia, but Barbacoa is a thing that I recognize. What's Barbacoa? Someone help me out. Uh, red scarf in a fairly suspicious looking room. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's just red scarf. I already have that on. It's got another red scarf. Okay, whatever, it's fine. It's still a good item. Also, I do want to point out something. As soon as I get through here alive. Okay, cool. We're safe. Can I just say how amazing it is that you can have the two equip slots, which I I, I lauded before. I said before how, that, how good that was. I said before how amazing that was. Can I just mention real quick how much I love that you can use items between the two? If this was an older game, and you had the Golem Soul and only one Golem Soul, you would say to yourself, Golly, I wish I could use the Golem Soul on both my builds because the traditional logic would be to set them apart. It would be to say, well, this build has the Golem Soul, so you can't use it in the other one. It's already in the other equip set, set slot. Ow. Okay, this has a skeleton wall. Why is there a skeleton wall here? I have a skeleton soul, I'm certain. I better. Is this like... Oh yeah, okay. That's just... Okay, that's cool. Wait, where am I? This is the bouche set which has slime. This one has the dirt. Cool. Give me your soul. I considered making Give Me Your Soul the, uh... Um... The, the title for the video, then I decided that like that would probably be like bad for monetization for some reason. Breathe fire, let's go. I need to heal too. Um. We're gonna go use that on here. Wait, dragon breathe fire. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's a channel! Okay! That's interesting. I don't know if it's good, but it's interesting. And sometimes interesting is better than good. I've always said it's better to be interesting than good. Ideally, you want to be both, but if you have to pick one, always try to be interesting. Ow. If you can manage both, then great. But if you gotta pick one... Okay, cool. So where the heck am I going now? That, that dead ended. I didn't expect that to dead end. I thought that was like gonna be like paths and stuff. Like paths and stuff, really, Jade? What? What, what is this? Is this line? 
You got better, you got better lines than that, Jade. You don't need like path and stuff. Ow! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sting him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, the Manticore Tail is actually not terrible. I, I unironically do like it. It doesn't take that much mana either. And like, that's a 33 hit damage. At decent attack speed, that just stacks on top of whatever else I'm doing. It's not incredible. It's not like, you know, the best soul in the world, but like, for something I could just toss on during a boss fight for a very little AP drain, that's pretty good. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about Mega Man. So classic Mega Man, enemies have weaknesses. And then, in still classic eras, I suppose. They, especially the, the X series. Ow. Yeah, level up. They swapped yeah. around the idea of, of making them yeah. weak to certain things yeah. purely based off yeah. of the whatever, you know, logic they had going on, and change it to be, this attack is the attack that works best against this enemy. What the heck is that? I don't know what he was trying to do, but I stopped him. So, uh, the cutter that works against Sting Chameleon goes up and angles around... That's my... Starts on the screen and goes up and angles like that. The attack pattern is whoosh, whoosh, and the enemy stands up here and swings back and forth. So it's very easy to say, oh, okay, I'll stand right here and go whoosh. The attack just makes sense for that target. The, um, an enemy that stays on the ground, well, the, the attack that trails along the, the ground the entire time will be very effective against them. It's just the best attack for the target rather than, you know, something like, uh, this enemy is particularly weak against this thing. I can't go that way. And I think that was a big evolution in Mega Man, and where I think the, the games became much better. And I know they did that in X, I, I think they might have done that in the later classic ones. I don't know, I'm not a huge Mega Man buff, but from a game design standpoint, I think Mega Man is very interesting and needs to be paid attention to. Ow! Buddy. Buddy, get back here. Okay. Again, hitting that guy with with punch knuckles, super hard. Eh, uh, nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna need the flying armor. I haven't needed to break this out in a while. And I won't need to break it out again, I'm pretty sure. And that's it. Uh, that was just for a potion. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I thought it was gonna be something cool. It wasn't. It was just a potion. Let's head north and check out that northern passage. Back to where we started the episode. There we go. I would like one of their souls too, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Hello, miss. If that gave me another... Hold on, no. I gotta check one more. I'm gonna do this two or three checks. Two or three. Just because I'm going to scream if I actually get it. You can see my muscle memory. You can see how much I did that just to get that muscle memory. Okay, fair. Understandable. Have a good day. Ooh. Ah, ah. Jerk. Right, the save up north to the up. Is it I, up? I guess it's just up, not north. Cardinal directions don't mean a whole lot. Do I have a way of getting that yet? I still do not. I am almost dead. I'm going to have a potion. We're so close to a save point. Can I just get to the save point, pretty please? Pretty please, nothing obliterate my face. Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. We're here. Hi. Mm. Yeah, heart items in most games have always been health, but in Castlevania games, hearts have always been item usage. And in this game, there's no items other than uh, other than the uh, the magic. So in this game, it's magic recovery. Got him. Okay, I got something cool there. Oh, is that something I couldn't get to before? Oh, yeah, I don't have a way of getting to that. I remember now. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to the right here. Oop. 
Mandragora is so good. Mandragora soul is just... No, wait, we need the, the, the... Whatever this is. We've seen this multiple times. Is that the soul we need? Is that, like, the thing we're gonna need? Huh. Okay. All right, well, I guess we're not going that way. I... Ooh. Nullify petrification. Okay. That might be handy in case there's, like, a boss that petrifies or something. And is there a path to the east here? Ow. There we go. Looks like there is. Okay, we do have a path over here we haven't been on. Cool, cool, cool. We found progress. We made it. Punch. I'm going to... Ooh, hello. Another thing I can't get to yet. But as soon as I get a double jump, I can. I f I've seen enough... Th Okay. Ooh, let me... What am I doing? Shoom, 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 shoom. Got it. Shoom, 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 shoom. All right, what am I doing here? What is my fighting? The organist? Hey, buddy, how's it going? Okay, so you throw bats at uh, crows? Are you supposed to be bats or crows or ravens or something? All I know is that um, these slimes are going to be filling the arena. This arena is nothing but slimes. Welcome to the slime zone. Infinite slimes. Also, my Burge does 60 damage. These slimes do four. Um, he's already dead. He's are uh, no, no. Ah, uh, that butt. Okay, never mind. He's not dead. False alarm. There we go. There we go. What? 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 Right? Okay. Cool. 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 We did it. We did it. We did it. Infinite. Yo, double jump. Woohoo! Sorry, I looked over at chat. And was like, yeah, infinite slime works. That's fine. And then I saw the double jump, and it just popped off. Sorry, I pop off occasion. We got jumps! And it doesn't even require a soul! Oh, that's so good. And we never use the flying armor again. And we probably need to combo that, actually. Ha! Yeah, we need the flying armor too, don't we? Hi! Okay, um... Alright, so if I come here and go shoop, and those shoop, no. Wait, what? Wait, I've got to be able to get this, right? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Hi! Got it. Hoop earring, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Get out of here, flying armor. No one likes you. Uh, plus one int. I'll take the, the, the defense right now. No, I actually use my, my skills a lot. Actually, that's probably better. Do I really not have another int earring? No, I guess I don't. Weird. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we can double jump. This actually is super nice. Hmm, where to though? I'm gonna go up and grab... So we can't go to that north section because the north section requires us to have whatever weird thing it looked like, but... Another? Okay, Tombstone Souls. In abundance. So we can't actually go where we're supposed to go here, but we can go get the cool item. And let's be honest, this is Castlevania. Half the point of the game is cool items, right? Hi, mind up. Nice. That's just a mana refill. No. Money. Okay. Well, we're in business. We can go back to the gardens and go up to that upper section and possibly find Gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Orb. <laughs> I love GDQ. Yo, if anybody needs me on the couch for a GDQ run, uh, hit me up. I know a bunch of speedrunners speed watch my channel, despite me not doing any speedrunning. 
In fact, doing quite the literal opposite of speedrunning. Oh, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Power belt. Well, that sounds promising. Oh my goodness. Strength and defense? Sold. That's going on both my sets. And again, the fact that I can use the same items on both sets is so good. And I don't think that we should underestimate how good that is. Especially for a game of this era. Not that this is like, you know, an ancient game or something. It's not like this is, you know, some ridiculous old-fashioned game. This game just came out a few years ago. Please don't tell me I'm wrong. Please, I beg of you, let me have this, okay? This game just came out a few years ago. It's still a fairly new game, but it's still fairly common for games to ignore the idea that, uh, that... Yeah, that sort of convenience. It's really frustrating in card games? Especially card games from the 90s. I love Chandelar. I might even do a Chandelar playthrough on the channel at some time if people are interested in it. But Chandelar... Bah, bah. But Chandelar... Nice. Um, you can build multiple decks. But you can't actually use the same cards in each deck because each one is taken up by that deck. Same with the old Pokemon card game for the Game Boy, which is just catastrophic because if you have four bills and you want to switch decks, you either have to manually switch over the bills, which is, yeah, I guess you could argue that's realistic, but it's not fun, you know? It's, it's, it's Video games are supposed to alleviate some of that kind of jazz. Building decks in Phantom Dust? I believe that. I believe that, too. <laughs> no idea anyone else knew about that game? Which one? Chandelier? I could totally do a Chandelier playthrough on the channel. If people are interested in it. I... Dang it! Stupid... Ah! Jerk. Um, there's a mod for Chandelar. Chandelar is a Magic the Gathering game, and it is the best Magic the Gathering PC game, and nothing else even comes close. <gasps> Yo, I did it! I punched him! <gasps> Hype. Today I am stronger than the Skeleton Ape. In that one I dodged, I'm a genius, I'm incredible, I'm cracked, I'm goaded, I am all these other things that I think I'm supposed to say. I don't, I don't actually... I mean, I know goat means the greatest of all time. I know that. And I know, like... I, I don't understand. Oh, no, there's two of them. Yeah, got them both. Punch birds. Elfin robe. Is that an upgrade? Pure upgrade. Nice. But a lot of these old games don't give you the ability to put your items on both builds. And it's a shame, because... It just seems so obvious, right? Anyways. Ow. There we go. Anyways, I've been wanting a new Chandelier game for a long time. I've been wanting a new Magic the Othering Chandelier game. And I've even considered making one. I, and if I made one, I wouldn't use Magic the Gathering. Because I'll be honest with you, Magic the Gathering is... Look, okay, you ready for the highest take of the night? Magic the Gathering is mid. Magic the Gathering is not that good of a game. Magic the Gathering exists today because entirely... Magic the Gathering exists because of its momentum. If it came out nowadays, we would laugh at it. We would say, shuffling your resource into your draw pile? If you have 40% of your deck is land, that means you have a 40% chance to draw land, and in the mid and late game, 40% of your deck is dead draws. You By randomizing that in the in the pickup phase, you are completely destroying your uh, your any sort of guarantee of action economy. I would argue that a game like Hearthstone, which has a ton of random, randomized functions in the game, is less random than Magic the Gathering because of shoveling, of shoveling your resource into your deck and drawing it out of, your, out of a draw phase. Whereas something like Force of Will is a lot more engaging because you have a separate draw deck with all of your mana in it and separate from your main deck which has all of your cards in it. Now, this having the, the mana drawn into your deck of, your, of Magic the Gathering does give you more options with mana, that you do crazy stuff with mana, like having lands that can turn into creatures or having um, ar artifacts that produce it, as opposed to having to have just isolated purely mana deck as in, in, in another game where you have mana, or nothing at all in a game like Hearthstone where you, have, where you just get draft crystals, where you just gain crystals over time. Those are completely 
completely different takes, but those takes are much more interesting and much more compelling because it takes away the randomization and takes away the chance of having a completely dead game and losing because you draw all land or no land. If we wouldn't pass, it would not pass today. If that came out in the year of our Lord 2024, we would all laugh at the game devs and say, what are you doing? What is this design philosophy? You are destroying 40% of your game, mid game and late game by just uh, by by this resource management being completely wild and making tutoring even more powerful than it already inherently is but instead we all look at it and go yeah that's how magic works and don't even question it anyways uh, <laughs> where was i <laughs> Um, anyways, uh, I would probably rebuild Magic, uh, Chandelar in a Force of Will style game instead of Magic, but, ooh, another boss already. The core of Magic the Gathering Chandelar, though, just to let you know, and this is not going to be, not, this is as much as I'll say about it, because I want to talk about Castlevania, is that in the Chandelar game, you are playing an RPG and going around the world and collecting cards and earning packs by completing quests. And the quests are beating certain enemies in the wild. It's a card game, but instead of just playing cards, you actually have a world map, more like a JRPG, and the random encounters are Magic the Gathering games. And it's so good. Like, that just fills a hole in the concept of a digital card game that I feel is missing, you know? Like, that's something that I don't think a lot of games have done. I know... I know there was that one, uh, uh, um, Throne Breaker, I think it was? The Gwent one that does that, but I never really got big into Gwent. I did, I was decently ranked for a while, but who are you? Oh, hey, this guy! Hold on, I, I need to... Need to hydrate after that last rant. <laughs> Here at last. You really stepped out of bounds, punk. Huh? Dimitri, I'm, I'm talking about Dimitri here. Well, I didn't mean to kill your friend. I just punched him in the face a lot. I, I didn't even use anything lethal other than, like, this these, these guns. Not like an actual gun, I mean my fist. My fist are the guns, in this metaphor. I'm making a metaphor about my fist, man. Huh? What are you saying? I wanted to pummel that, but he jerked myself. Wait, doesn't your friend's death mean anything to you? Him? Ha! You gotta be joking. Let's get on with this already. Why do you want to become the Dark Lord anyway, dude? Why? Look at this power! Congratulations, you can explode. Oh, you, you killed plant! You killed the plants. Can you imagine how crazy I'll be? <laughs> with even more power? Yo, dude. You're crazy. And you yap way too much. Come on, punk. I'll roast you to a cinder. Okay, I'm gonna punch you now, and just not stop, and um, it seems to be working. Okay, we doing the same thing over here then? Okay, my dude, we, we just keep on punch you then. Oh, I see, I just it does that sort of thing, whatever. Get screamed at. I guess I should avoid those. They do, do some damages. But it's funnier if I don't. And that's more important. Is that really your only two attacks, my dude? Are you already... Dude, like, give up trying to become the Dark Lord, man. A punk like you. You're not walking away from this. Dario. Enough. Where was I with her voice? I don't remember where I was with her voice. Celia, don't try and stop me. A man's got his pride. I know that. And I am not... I know that. Oh, that's right. She had the, the, the princessy uh, Ojo voice. I know that, but I am not prepared to lose the last candidate. We'll pull back for now, and I have another plan. Ugh. I underestimated you. This is a terrible voice. I don't know what I'm doing with this voice. I hate it. But this game isn't over yet. I shall be waiting for you on the uppermost floor. Come, if you dare. <laughs> oh! 
Man, I butchered that voice. I am so sorry. I'm gonna go save, as I don't know what's around the corner. I forgot to use my scorpion tail. Dang it. Oh well. Not a bad fight. Kind of rocked it. Ugh, am I talking too fast today? Let me know if I'm talking too fast today, and I will absolutely ignore what you say because I'm gonna keep on talking anyways. Okay? Okay. I'm glad we had this conversation. <laughs> Soma is a punk? I'm, I mean, he's, he's a himbo. Soma is absolutely a himbo. And I refuse to accept any description of Soma that is not himbo or himbo adjacent. Dude! Like, he just he is constantly doesn't know what's going on. His strongest asset is is that he punches things decently hard. He's, he's, just, he's just pure himbo all the way through, okay? Bro! Like, what's going on, man? Dude! What's that even about? That Dimitri fella? He's like kind of a jerk. But I'm also kind of into him? I don't know. I don't know what to do these feelings, man. Well, these enemies are actually kind of taking a lot of hits. I bet they drop a sick soul for me, though. Soma! Huh? I told you not to get involved, didn't I? Aracado! What are you doing here? I thought you were protecting Mina. Mina's fine. My colleagues are providing protection. Besides, keeping you under observation gets my priority. Dude, you're still treating me like I'm the Dark Lord. Haven't you seen enough, man? I need you to understand that you are considered to be extremely dangerous. Dude. But since you're here, I suppose I can't stop you. Well, under my supervision, I'm prepared to overlook the use of excessive force. Besides, we can't just allow this cult to carry on its way. Uh, thanks, dude, I guess. Also, M Mina gave me this for you. Huh? Letter? Dear Soma, <sighs> If you're reading this, you've probably gone after the cult. I had a feeling you would when you disappeared after that incident. I know that you like to worry about me, but... I like to worry about you just as much. It's a hobby of mine. Worrying about you makes me feel better. I feel alive. So I just want to worry. I won't ask you to come back right away because I'm enjoying worrying too much. But promise me that whatever happens, you'll come back unharmed. Oh, and I sent you a weird thing. Don't worry about it. I'll be praying for you. Always. Mina. Soma? Huh? What? Brief me on the situation. What have you discovered? Uh... So, like, there's this dude who, um... I punched, and then I got his soul. I didn't really want to, but, like, I got it anyways. But it was kind of a crappy soul. It didn't give me any magic powers. So then I walked around here, and there's this other girl. I think you know her already. She's, like, the... The, the lady with the church? Well, it turns out that she's uh, forging souls and eternally trapping the soul in, into a prison of steel, which, like, is kind of metal. So, like, I, I got a whole bunch of weapons from her. And then we met this other dude. So, like, so like okay, so, like, the cult leader, she's a jerk. She's, like, this huge, pompous jerk that's got, like, this crazy hair. Like, she's got to spend, like, 45 minutes every morning working on her hair. And then she's got two underlings, uh, one of which is the soul guy who I mentioned before. The other one is named Dimitri. He probably walked, so walked right by him when he came in here. He's like this beast guy. He's got like this red hair and, and sort of looks like, you know, like he's going to go into a werewolf mode. But he didn't go into werewolf mode. He just kind of shot some fire at me and then fell over when I punched him. But I didn't get his soul. I, I mean, yet. I might get it later, but I don't want it. I, 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 I don't actually want the whole soul thing. That's like like not my jam, not, not my scene. But like I keep on finding them. But like if, if, if they're giving them to me, I guess I take them. I guess I don't know. Anyways, I silly wanted to meet up for for some lunch, so I said I said I did I give it like a soft yeah. Like I didn't confirm too hard because I didn't want to seem too into it. Because like I'm not actually into her. She's got this whole real cult leader vibe going on. You know the kind, right? You've dated a cult leader before, so like I don't really want to be totally in that. But like I don't want to be rude, you know. So I. I so I sort of like I gave a soft, yeah, if, if I'm in the area, I'll come up to the top floor and I'll meet you, but uh, no, no promises. So I'm going to go up and meet her now because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm into it a little, you know? Understood.
But the fact that it's just... <laughs> 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 Good times. I miss. Where did... <laughs> that looks quick. No, okay. 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 I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna go back here and go to the right because I don't actually want to advance the, the plot and go into, into... Well, I guess I do want to go into new cool areas, but I have other areas I haven't explored yet. But new areas probably have cooler weapons. But not guns. And there's a gun over here, we know that. I'm gonna go back and get gun. Oh, the way he's just like... He's, he's like, understood, like, yep, alright. <laughs> My enemy. Ah, made it. Dead end. Okay, I'm glad I went back. Uh, you know, we have other ways to go, but I'm actually kind of just feeling like we go this way now. Get some new cool items. Can we find something fancy? Hmm. Okay. Probably should be collecting this money because, like, I'm gonna need potions and stuff. Ooh! Silk robe and vacuums up enemy HP. HP. Hello? Um. Stephanie Lewis, right? Stephanie. That is so dumb. Oh my goodness, it. it oh. It gives fan service to the Persephone's. That that is. I don't feel com I don't feel clean about that. I I don't feel clean about that. That, that that's a little bit weird for me. That's I'm gonna I'm gonna tap out of that one. I'm gonna politely decline. Shoot. Waiter? Doesn't he have a soul I need? I feel like I need his soul. In fact, I'm pretty certain of it. He's easy to farm, though. Just needs a couple punches. I'm not gonna do the full farm here, but I'm just gonna see if my luck is, uh, how it's holding, you know, you know? Actually, wait, I can just... Perfect. Sniped. Get slime sniped. Oops. Whatever that's... Okay. Wait. Hold on. Did I just see that right? <laughs> he just runs at the wall and explodes. I... Okay, my dude. Alright, I got an easy farm. Ooh. When you're farming something like this, the key thing is not to go through the door too fast. Because if I go through the door too quickly, it will actually... Not give me the soul. I have lost rare souls to that in the past. Oopsies. Alright, so if I'm coming down, it has a different arc. Alright, whatever. We'll move on. Never mind, we'll get the curry first. Beef curry? Nice. Katsu curry? That sounds fantastic. Give me the curry. I love curry. Like, y yeah, I am a carnivore and I usually don't have meat. But when I do, uh, I usually don't have, uh, have, you know, rice, rather. But, like, when I do, curry is how, is how I like to have my cheat days on my diet. Ow. Poisoned. Okay. Hey, Valkyrie. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, we're doing good. Hey, Valkyrie. Cool. Okay. 
cool. Ooh, you seem kind of neat. Weird little clown dude? What are you, Jazz? Two-star soul, so it's not unaccessible. No, we need another... Th what is that, anyway? It's like, robot? We need to be... I feel like bat form is what we need, right? We need bat to get through here, but there's been this weird doll at all of these, which makes me think that that's a hint. But I haven't seen any dolls. The they're in the clock tower, right. There's weird gut dolls in the clock tower in Aria. Maybe that's the same creature? I don't know where that, where that would help, but like... I mean, I guess I'll try... Oh, if I find those guys, I'll try to get him. What was this? Ooh, demon! Oh, is that like it's supposed to be a Beauty and the Beast type thing? Puma News! What is it? Snowman living on the mountains? Spotted near the mountain village. Again, I think those are supposed to be hints about how to get something rare. Maybe you need to lose those souls to beat the game, too. Like, true ending or something. I don't know. Ow! There we go. I do need a potion. Okay, and you are... A marionettes. Oh, maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's the soul that I need to be able to get through those doors. That's a weird thing to require, though, right? Okay, you're pretty sturdy, too. Alright. I'm not gonna... I might have to firm this between episodes if we still don't have the answer for those doors. That could be a thing. Rotten meat with a yeti? I could try that, but I don't know if I... What? Okay, that's just locked. Interesting. Okay. I am out of mana. Thank goodness that just absolutely devastated everything. My goodness. So that just leads to a dead end. Okay, well, we have... We're not, we still have places to go. We can go south here, up, down. Alright, I'm not going to attack anymore. I don't even know what that does. I assume that does damage, or maybe charms me, or maybe it's, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna find out. What do you do? What do you do? You just take away my mana. I don't like that. I like my mana. My mana is very helpful for when I want to punch things a lot. But they're too far away for me to punch, so I can throw something else at them. It'll punch for me. Better kill a boss with a vacuum. Okay, you know what? I will I will Luigi's Mansion. I, I, like, I like that more than... Okay, I thought she might have a thing, but I guess she doesn't care. Alright, Luigi's Mansion, let's go. Ah. Ah. I don't know what he was doing. It is incredibly ineffective against ghosts. But at least we tried it. We did it once. If we see another enemy that looks like we can get a funny animation out of, I'll try it. But I'm not going to worry too hard, you know? Because Persephone had that weird... Coffee? Why would the succubus drop... Or... What? What? The heck? Um... Four? Do I have to, like, memorize these numbers or something? Thirteen... Fifteen... Eleven... Q... 
Okay. That's weird. I'll worry about that never. Oh, I lost my mana. These things put. Why do these things poison anyways? Like, why would that be a marionette thing, right? Like, when I think of poison, I think of, like, you know, spooters and, like, scorpions. Why would a marionette poison? Is there, like, some lore there that I don't get? All right, we've reached the funhouse section. Soul? Throw cards as weapons. I'm out of mana. It sounds cool. Like Gambit. I mean, Gambit was awesome, right? We all agree that Gambit was awesome. Oh, we found the piano room. They wouldn't. Are they gonna start Tropics me? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I messed it up again. Super text. Is that what how I had it? I was... Why can't I do things? Oh. There it goes. Do I not have the ability to change, turn off the music? If I can't turn off the music of the game, that actually kind of stinks. But that's just button settings. Well, heck, I was, I was going to turn this into a Megalovania uh, as a TikTok joke. Just pretend I did that and it was really funny, okay? Just, just pretend that that's what I did and it was just absolutely hilarious. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And this is just the whole room, huh? Ah! Well, it's working on me. Stop hitting me with everything! It's very rude of you. Wow, I guess if you want the bone pillar, uh, souls, uh, found the farming spot for it. Hacking. And they're not. Those are three star rarity. That's actually as rare as the Valkyrie. And we got two of them. Oh, there is an up there. There is an up path there. See that? Okay. I mean, we can't get there. We need a flight or a bat or whatever. Nope, nothing I can get over there. Which means we are dead-ended. Again. Okay. da 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 Sorry, I'm... Look. Wait, that, that's actually kind of good. 60 damage, no less? 60 damage, not that much mana. That's actually really good. Alright, um... Yeah, I think I have my new my new soul. That's going to replace my dragger for now. Got him. Yeah, like, look at that. Two cards takes her down. I, yeah, I got a new favorite weapon. Don't poison me, I want my mana to... Oh, I don't have any mana, never mind. Yeah, I guess you can poison me, it's cool. Oh, that card had Mina on it as the queen. The cards even are, are references to this game. Okay, yeah, no, this is my new favorite ability. This is cool as heck. And does decent damage. And honestly, it's a dagger throw. It's just like, you know, throwing something at a dagger. Is this... wait. Uh, 
Um, raise strength. Interesting. Yeah, that's just the other side of this. Okay, so I guess I don't need that solent for anything. Well, I don't know, there's another area I need it to for an item. I guess I'll need it sometime. Someday I shall need that soul. Yeah. I, th I, I guess I just need to farm it. It's just going to make things more convenient. What? That was weird. Okay, this is hurting a lot. Ow! Okay. Jeez, there's a lot of enemies here. Can this connect? Manticore tail? Can you, uh... No? Okay. What about... I don't want to go up there, it's scary. Miss, can you come down into Buge range? No? Okay, understandable. That's a good place to farm that soul, though, I guess. Boomerang. Ah! That's not the card. Joker. Oh, the Joker was Alucard! Do you see that? The Joker was Alucard! Oh, yeah, I'm popping off like a fangirl. Mina is the queen. And we got the crest here. Okay, I'm going back to town for a minute. This is cool as heck! I'm having so much fun! Do you lose a weapon after 52 uses? I hope not. Apparently there's been some uh, discourse lately about Gambit. Like how he was coded as, as gay in the old X-Men cartoons. Like, no, he was coded as bi. That was like that his entire personality was that he would flirt with anything that moves. Like that that's that's Gambit. That's what he does. We're not really seeing a whole lot of fancy stuff here. Silver gun? Uh, okay. I guess we... No, we can't... Okay. Um, throwing sickle. Ooh, that looks like a... Oh, it's supposed to be a comma, but it looks kind of like death sickles. Soul ring. Okay. Um, nothing we really need right now. We still got our fancy whip knuckle, and I know how to upgrade it. And that's all we need. All we need is bunches of punches. Bunches of punches is the answer to Castlevania. By the way, it appears as if Arikado came too. Yeah, he's either keep an eye on me or something. I thought he was supposed to be guarding Mina. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but yeah, you know, whatever. Okay, well, since it's him, I, I don't think there'll be any problem. But his being here must be in the situation that's pretty serious, huh? Yeah, he like gave me a whole lecture or something. I wasn't really paying any attention to it though. I don't blame you. I'd rather see you go home, too. But... No, I know you're not gonna. It's fine. Besides, you can rely on others. Don't try to carry the burden yourself. That's why we're here. Thanks. Do I really care about Wait, sword? I guess I don't know if I do. We never found the needles, but those are usually underwater. Hellbore, we know where it is. And that gives us mock punch, and my goodness, do I want that. I want it. But, uh, I'm not gonna... F I'll farm it between after. You know what? I will farm it tonight. By the way, um, if anybody's watching here and wants to hang out and watch some old cartoons, uh, the Discord channel is in the link in the, dis in the description. On Tuesdays after stream, we go watch some, uh, some old Saturday morning cartoons together. So if you're, if you're interested in that, in that kind of thing, feel free to stop on by. It's just a cool casual Discord. Honestly, I like it because it's not like the Jade the Cobal Discord for Jade the Cobal. Like, it's, it's just a cool Discord for people to hang out and have a good time. It's, it's not like, you know, VTuber Discord or whatever. This, yeah, if you hold up some uh, flips his hair. It's very cool. It's very stylish.
All right, so I'm going to go up here because we got the double jump, which should actually lead to some new fancy stuff right here. And we get 10 bucks worth it. Hashtag worth it. We got a tenner. Let's go. You wish you had a tenner right now. And soul. Oh, nice. Breakable walls. I should probably... You know what? I should just have that equipped at all times, eh? I actually have a handful of these now. Uh, what do we have? Edible, constitution, strength. It's only two points of strength. Yeah, we'll keep this eye on. Why not? Heck it. So what is the difference between the abuge, which is the axe, which goes shishump, and the greatsword? Alright, so greatsword is faster. Maybe I do want to upgrade to Durandala. It's either that or this, or the, the lance from the spear. I, don't, I haven't really been vibing a whole lot with the spear, so I think I will take the greatsword out when I head back to town, which will be in a few minutes. Is this a new thing? Okay. One. Cestus. And nothing. And it says we're in the top left, but we are not. That is a lie. We're down here. I... That's kind of weird. I'm not going to worry about that. It looks like it's going to be a whole thing. It's probably like a puzzle or something. The king... Okay, so the king card is a uh, hammer, which is kind of weird, honestly. Like, hammer doesn't have an active story role. His his story role is weird American who, uh, who sells guns. Why would... Uh, why would the king not be like Arakado or even Soma himself? Like, who, is, who would Soma be? Would Soma be like the ace? Oh, can I not get up there now? Heh! Nope. Okay, nope. I'm gonna need something else to get up there. Uh, use item. I don't want to use the curry because it'll be a good heal for later. But it might, it might get him out there. Probably a potion wouldn't work, but the curry might. I, I, it's, it, it, hmm. I'll be farming some prism stuff. I'll get some more curry while I do. And the hellbor soul. Is there? Uh, I can't get high enough from here. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing now? What am I doing? What's my hopes? What's my dreams? There actually is an up path over here that we never went through. Ow. And, well, I can also get here, but that doesn't really help. Yeah, I... I hop. Okay, so I can get up here, though I can't get up the other sides of that, which is weird. They would have figured that would be the same height. And this gives me the Crimson Cloak. More defense, less those things. I do want to see if it changes my trails, though, because that'd be kind of cool if it did. No, okay. Power belt it is. Hey, I'm still glad we found something there. Yeah, all of these crenellations on these are at different heights. Yo, we beat him! We beat Skeleton Ape. Hype. Can't go that way. So the Joker's yellow card. I can only see that when I hit something, though. Mina's the queen, right? Ace, who was that? I didn't see who the ace was. Was that Celia? I don't know. We're going this way. Apparently we just never went this way. And apparently we still can't go that way. Okay, fine. Fine. 
Keep your secrets. I think the ace is supposed to be Celia. We haven't seen the jack yet. Why would Celia be the ace? I'm, I'm reading into this. I feel like there's like some deep lore about the symbolism of the cards. Beans. Now where am I going? South? This area has places I haven't been to. Right? Down to the left, all that jazz? And this area to the right I couldn't go to for a reason, right? This area... Oh right, this requires water traversal, which I do not have. That's got to be a plot thing. Plot water traverse is almost always a plot thing. Might as well. That's true. The plot line of Hammer is actually core to the game on account of how horny he is. It's actually, like, it's actually the core of the entire um, theme of the game, which is people be horny for vampires. That's, that's actually the, the plot line of, the, of all Castlevania games. I don't know if you knew that. It's actually core to understanding Castlevania as a series, is understanding that people are, in fact, horny for vampires. Oh, gosh. Remember when they added that mechanic? And, like, no one cared? What is up there? Oh, is that a breakable wall? Is that what the Keeping Eye does? Okay. Um. Hmm. Do I have anything that attacks vertically? Yeah, I got axe armor, duh. There it is. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to get to. Does that I hope that stays open now. How am I going to get up there? How entirely am I going to get up there? Um No 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 Ah Oh wait, never mind, I'm fine. Foy Gra. Okay. Sick! Keep an eye paying off, paying dividends already. Punch. Okay. Well, we've already made progress. Ow! Give me back my... Give me back my killer crown. Clown. Crown clown. Are those two words etymologically related? They're kinda cool if they were. Crown and clown. I don't think they are. Wait, that was a uh, jack. And it looked like it was uh What's her name? I forget her name. Still can't get that way. Probably have to go through the water path once we find a way to unlock water. Also, this throwing card is amazing. Like, absolutely bananas. Bananas in a good way. Yeah, the Jack is, uh... The, the lady that, that Hammer is horny for. Alright, what was this way? Can I... Did I unlock this pathway? Let's find out! Yoko, yes. Yoko, that's her name. Yes. Thank you. Nope, that requires us to come from another side. And has an Uma News in it. UMA News? I just say Uma News. I don't know why. 
Yeah, I think that's uh, Celia is the is the ace. All right, this card ability rules, and I love it. Did not expect Killer Clown to be the card that I was going to be ride or die for. Really did not see that one coming. Wait, this thing down here? That's a dead end! That's, that was a boss fight and a dead Okay. Am I... Yeah, I'm just lost. Okay. So that was nothing up there. Or nothing I could access. Which means that this entire area is, is clear. The opening area... Okay, hold on, hold on. We'll, we'll do this correctly in just a second. We gotta do this correctly. We gotta do this correctly. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, where am I going? This area is, is inaccessible. We can't get down here. I don't even know why we have the map for that. We're finished in here. I couldn't make it there. That was too high up. So this area is clear. There's an up panel here. I don't know if I checked that. This is a unpassable wall, and this is a unpassable wall. Uh, I think we can go that way? I forget. And that dead ends out. Maybe in here? I think this might be the way we have to go next. I think. Maybe. No, oh, we'll find out. The music is very good, especially considering that it's a, D a DS game. I mentioned it before when we were playing the uh, Game Boy Advance game. The Game Boy Advance sound card is awful. It's just not a good sound card for making music for video games. And they figured it would be fine because on the speaker, it doesn't matter. The speaker just sounds pretty weak and it's just... Oh, right, this head was blocked off. Because the speaker inside the system is just, you know, super mediocre. But you could absolutely use headphones and I feel like there's you could put a better... Ooh, luck bonus. I feel like you could put a better sound card in the system purely based off of the idea that people are going to be um, listening to it on a headphone jack. I think it would be would have been worth it. But they didn't. And we got stuck with a fairly low, lower end sound card. Which, honestly, still sounds pretty good, and you can still do a lot of good things with a weak sound card. I mean, the old uh, G Game Boy, the original Game Boy, still had some ph phenomenal music on it, right? And no one here is going to tell me that, like, the classic Final Fantasy games didn't have amazingly baller soundtracks. They were amazing, and they were good, and I liked them, and they're my friends, and I love them. This one- no, this one didn't have a- no, this was a uh, 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 doll path. Okay. This was a doll path. We don't- we can't go this way. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 it's fine. Uh, we'll check that up over in the other... That guy's strong against playing cards. I guess that makes some sense. He is a, um, tombstone. Tombstones tend to be strong against playing cards for some reason. That makes sense? That doesn't make any sense. No, I got nothing. Alright, so I guess it has to be up in that top left section. That's gotta be where we gotta go until we get uh, the ability to get water for Bristle. Okay, cool. Said the same to check my directions. Give me a soul. Okay, you didn't. There we go. What's up, Paper Pete Rock? <laughs> nice one. Please. Okay, cool. We made it. We made it. We made it. Um. Let's go back and grab that sword first. Let's go grab Durandal. 
which I believe actually is a legendary sword. Or, actually, is Durandal? I don't know. It's one of those like mythical swords, like Exc Excalibur. But a couple of those swords actually do exist. Like there are several of the quote unquote mythical weapons that you can just like find in a museum. Like this, yeah, this is a uh, straight up like. Ooh. Word from Arikado? By equipping the talisman, it should suppress the darkness in our soul. Okay. You of all people should be especially aware of this. Cool. Um. Yeah, give me Durandal. <laughs> Lilith's soul? We know where that is, so I might get Daneslave next time, which gives a ton of stat bonuses, my goodness. And this one will go to Durandal instead of Bouge. Which functions very similarly. Bouge is slower. Which I think is worth it. I like faster weapons. And the Bouge was bonkers tier damage, but it really was too slow for me. Durandal I might actually use once in a while. Maybe maybe not, I don't know. Alright, up in here. Up in here has to be the path. This has to be where we're going. This has to be where our hopes and dreams lie. All of our destiny will be in here. After we kill this clown. The destiny might be the clown. I mean, I hope not, but like, hey. I got a liberal arts degree. What do you expect? <laughs> Like, actual clowning is a respectable job, for real. Like, real talk? Clowns? Good job. Not as well respected nowadays, and I think it's kind of... sad? On it, I guess? Yeah, I'd say sad. Right, this... scary room. Alright, so what? how do we attack these things? Ow. This is not that bad. Ah, this thing's bad, though. Dang it! Shove off my tree, booger. Where did the Lilith go? Oh, there you are. Yo, we got it! Okay, um, you know what? New plan. <laughs> New plan? We just got the soul. Already. So, uh, we're gonna go cash it in. Oh, it was, it was one of the one of Charlemagne Paladin swords. Yes, which is an actual thing. So that actually would have been a real sword. I know the sword of Charlemagne actually was considered a legendary sword as well, but and like in the vein of like Excalibur or Masamune or something like that. Julius, let's see. You can get through tight spaces if you could switch places with a small object. Um, okay. Give me what? Give, give me weapon. Give me Daneslave. which is another le ish a legendary adjacent maybe. Looks weird. Now we need a soul. Interestingly, it actually seems to be a downgrade because it takes away all the buffs that Daneslave gave, and I wonder why. If we find a dragon we can have near the soul, then we should use it. But this should be a good upgrade. 70 damage, you love it. Fantastic. That's a lot of damages. Yeah, it's a sword axe. I guess you could call it that. It's a bad axe? <laughs> oh. Okay. That also is gonna really boost my uh my soul's discovery too. Oh, wait, does that it add luck or is luck the like one set it didn't add? Buddy. Ow. Whatever. And then there's this jerk. Look at him being a jerk. Again, the, the knuckles would be horrible against that enemy. 
Okay. Ooh! Hello! I see you. I see you. I'm trying to get in the way of my magic seal three. Uh, shoom -ba shoom -ba shoom -ba shoom -ba Okay, I think you got it. Actually, we have a place we can use that, don't we? Ah! Spooky guy, spooky guy, spooky guy alert! Ooh. Nice. What are you, Umanus Tutu? Um, there may have been numerous sightings in the creature high in the sky. All right, so if we, so we're gonna have to be able to have bat mode to find a Mothman, I guess. Ah! Stop hitting me with all the blood. Okay, that hurt. What's up here? A boss. Um, and a saving. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well. This is boss time, isn't it? Or we could do the other... You know what? No. I was... Okay, we're gonna actually use this soul elsewhere in sequence break. It's not really a sequence break, I don't think. But we have another place where we can use this that I think might be funnier. And it's right close by, so I'm gonna go check it out. And if it's a dead end, it's fine. We'll go back. It was right here. I'm assuming that that seal works here? No! Why is this some crazy seal needed for that? It just like... That's so strange. Okay, well, you know what? I'm still glad we tried. I didn't lose any viewers for trying. You know what? That's what's important too. Look, some days, man, you know? <laughs> so souls do get stronger the more you have of them. So I'm really tempted to farm, like, nine of those souls. And maybe a shell, basically. Kind of wish I had just like another rapier or something. Boom, boom. So shoom, shoom, ba shoom, ba shoom, ba shoom. So it's shoom, 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 shoom. Right? Doom, 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 doom. I think. I am going to find out, eh? Hey, buddy. You are. Absolutely wretched. I do not appreciate your existence. What the? What? Oh, is it? Oh! It's transpositioning me. I get it. So I have to break these, otherwise it'll put me in the uh, thingy thing. I think. Look at that attack arc, I hit everything. Dane Slave kinda great. Or is this Dane Slave? Dane Slave kinda great. Got it. Okay. Oh, um. Shumpura, 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 shumpura. Yes, got it. Get Shumpered, nerd. Throw a puppet and switch places with it. Yep, that's the creature, all right. I guess. That's really not that cool. I was hoping for something much cooler than that. 
Oh well. Yeah, something much cooler, like the killer clown soul that I love. Yeah, that's so much cooler, Jade. Yeah, you 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 called it. Why have um Why have other stuff when you have a weird clown soul? What more could you ask for than a weird clown, right? Like, come on. Ow! I kinda want this guy's soul too. Oh, I got another little soul. Not that I particularly need it, but like... Get wrecked, nerds. Yeah, this card shot is amazing, and it does almost damage, as much damage as a heavy uh, greatsword attack. Real solid. Real solid. Okay, so where am I going? Um, we have the areas over here that require it. We have an area... In the middle of the map as well, I believe the north section of here requires it. But we know we need it down here, and we know there's stuff down here. Right? I think? Let's try this. Can we cardstock hurt so much? Actually, throwing playing cards can, like, is really cool. It's a cool skill to have. I mean, I, I know how to do it because I actually know how to th sh uh, throw shuriken. My favorite shuriken, my... Oh, no, not this one. Okay. Um, the left one, then. You got explosives, though. Heck yeah. Skellington! Yeah, this soundtrack is. Okay. Now then, reveal your. It's actually. Oh, dang it. Okay, so no of the. Dang it, I thought well, I could have sworn one was down here. Never mind, I'm bad at video games. I have never played a video game in my life, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's fine, don't worry about it. We're doing great, folks. Just ignore everything. So we guess we just still can't go to that place in the middle. That's the part I want to know the most about. Just like, dead center of the castle, in the middle of the garden, and we can get to both sides of it. We, we know everything about the region, but we just can't get to it. Okay, so where the heck am I going? Where the heck am I going? I... Think? Maybe. Maybe it's the thing here. Maybe it's the thing here. I think there's a... Okay, there's a dead end over here. We're not a dead end per se. Hey, back. But an area that we had not finished checking. Maybe it was because we had a hole. And now we can go through holes. That's the takeaway. The takeaway is that now Soma can go through holes. We've acquired portal t technology. Except that the portal is a weird doll thing, and the technology is throwing the weird doll thing at a hole. Which might sound strange. Hello, hello, hello! Hype. Okay, so what's over here? First things first. I'm wrong. Don't care. I think I just found the way through here anyways. Because of how good we are at video games. Two thousand bucks and some corn? Not bad. And, uh, no, this does not go that way. But you know what? We found a secret anyways. So I don't want to hear it from you guys. We found a secret. You know? Like, what more do you want? Okay? Yeah, we found a secret. You can, you can just be happy for me. I'm happy for me. Because I found a secret. I love secrets. I do love the way Dane Slave can uh, clip through floors. It's very cool. Hi, hop, hop, ha, ha. Ban up, ban, ban out. Okay, um. This area as well, at the top, right? 
Probably? Seems right. Why is throwing a doll a core movement tech in this game? Someone designer was like, you know what we need to have the core movement tech for the second half of the game to, to solve puzzles? Freaking creepy dolls. Wow, get wrecked, nerd. Am I going this way? Okay. Hello? I can't get up there. And, oh, they can't, they won't knock me up. Okay. Well, we found another secret. Not a useful secret, but uh, we did find a secret, and that counts for something. Not much, but something. Ooh, actually, I like that. You're not a. Uh, yeah, you're a. Barber, you're a. Barber. That thing. I'm guessing the other demon we need is one of those, because it has a weird name that's, that. I can't really pronounce. So that means it's probably the same type of demon. Ow! Hey, was this a thing? No, it was not. No, Jade, no, it was not. Why would you... Oh my goodness. Jade, be better at video games. That's all you have to do. Just, like, play video games? Sure, yeah, but, like, be better at them? It's not that big of an ask, Jade. You've been doing this for years. You beat Melania! How can you be, like, this bad at this thing? Bonk. Ooh, anti-venom. Right. So we just do not have the height to get through there. It's fine. So very fine. Ah! Oh, wait, did it. No, did it. Bam. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Nerd. Absolute blighter. Complete nerd menace. Slime is so good, though. Ow, dang it. I'm telling you, can't handle him. Just cannot. Alright, so gun is here, right? I think. But we cannot access that entire segment of map. That, yeah, there's gun, and that's completely, actually hard locked from us. There's no way into that map that we have. So, I think the only path we have are these two to the right. Which I guess is two. Aw, um, got him. So we will peek our head in that direction. We're not going to go me going too much farther. We are going to keep this around a two-hour stream, as many of these stream uh, as many of these episodes are. If you're watching live, thank you. It's good to have you here. If you're watching the vod, thank you. It's good to have you here as well. Make sure you leave a comment about something. I I, I mean honestly, just like. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. You know, there's like a lot of cool stuff going on in this game, eh? Ah, beans! Wow, those things just get eradicated by slimes. Okay, but what if I got a soul off that, right? That would be the, the craziest thing. It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot! Hey, this episode opened up in a, the most bonkers luck, and uh, I'm here for it. Ha -da. 
Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Just peek our head into the zone. What is this zone? Is this really the only one? I feel like I've seen those uh, weird holes all over the place, but I just haven't been able to access any of them until now. And now that I can't can access them, this is like the only one I can find. Everyone else was just like not. Yeah, that works, I guess. Alright, so what the heck is over here? Um, I have no idea. What is over here? What am I looking at? Cyber Valkyrie. Direct. I lost my double jump. I do kind of appreciate that the imps are just like annoying little gits in this, like, ooh, fancy weapon there, fancy weapon there. Ooh, wait, can I get up there? Slight chance that I can. Nope. Maybe. Still gonna file this under maybe. Got it. It's a Kotetsu, we already have one of these. Or, have access to one of them at least. I, I don't know why I tried to attack using the puppet soul. Maybe not the most clever move technique. Great, we could get it, though. Okay. Okay. Uma News, 3-2, what are you? We don't even have 3-1. Let us call the airborne being the flying humanoid. Oh, we have, an, like, an, uh, what? The flying humanoid? Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? We have, like, a Valkyrie right over there. That's a flying humanoid. We, they're all over the place. Yo! Thank you so much! There's so many flying humanoids already. Ah, beans. Lighter, get back here. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have the Knuckle upgraded by next episode. This much, I can assure you. It's going to be good. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. I lost my double jump. Wait, how do I get back up there? Ha! No! Okay. Oh, this way. Got it. All right, I actually am going to equip flying armor. Okay, so if it, there's something this way. So this area just leads to that, right. And then here... It leads to nothing. But hear me out, hear me out! Hear me out. Here... I cannot make it. I might be able to make that. Hold on. We're gonna try and make that. Now clear these enemies so they don't respawn. And just kind of hope that they don't respawn. They might respawn. If they do, then... Well, I mean, like, whatever. Oop. We're gonna try this again. And this time we're gonna have the Puppet Master ready to go. This Valkyrie's gotta perish first. That didn't work. Please don't teleport to Okay. It didn't teleport me, thank goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so much generosity today. You're all so wonderful. Thank you. Ha! Made it! High potion. Okay, that felt kind of cool. I felt kind of cool doing that. That actually felt good. So what's even down here? I have seen so much generosity out of my, out of out of my watchers uh, today. T today alone has just been an incredible day, and I want to thank you all. Like, I'm glad that I'm glad that I'm, I'm making something that means something to people. You know, that's really the core of it. I'm glad that I'm doing things that people are passionate about, that people are excited about. I'm glad I'm doing things that people like. Not everybody can say that, you know. And 
Today, you guys can say that because you've made me extremely happy. And we've made it to the Condemned Tower, which we will visit uh, next time. I'm, I'm just going to go kill the doors forever. Because I want to upgrade my punch fist. And now I know how. And this is how this game encourages grinding. By having soul upgrades. And I don't mind it. There's something like weirdly cathartic about grinding in this game that feels sort of like MMO grinding, where it's more like relaxing than frustrating. I don't know why. That's probably just me. I'm just weird. It was here, right? You. So I just kind of go through here. Oh, it's only one? Okay, it's only one. I thought it was two in here. What is the best thing going to be to farm this? Two hits from this thingy thing is always is going to be enough to kill. Okay, I'm going to want to kill this to get this on the way out. What soul would be best to hurt poking it? How many shots from Killer Clown does it take? Mandrago, or maybe it would be the next check. Next check is a dummy. One, two. So three cards. It's not bad, but there's a lot of um, skeletons around which could body block. And the Mandrago has been my best tool for farming anyways. Oh, Mandrago does not kill. Okay. We got some rotten meat. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's kind of cool. I can't, I doubt it's good, but like... Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Okay, that is a comical amount of damage? Did that say 225? Holy cow! Jeez. Okay, um, do not sleep on the bomber armor, I guess. I could have gotten this, like, back at the beginning of the game. That is insane. Okay, um, anything else that might be useful? A killer clown takes not that much mana. Yo, so lo Oh my goodness! What? This is like a hype train or something. What the heck? Thank you so much. I should. Uh, uh, uh. I, I, this is the bomber armor. I just use the bomber armor. It's just good. Ah, beans. The problem is I keep on getting punched. I keep on getting punched by so many things, but I'm the one who wants to do the punching. Yeah, I guess that's just the best way to farm it. It doesn't move that much. I guess that's the weakness of the bomb armor, is that it has to be an enemy that doesn't move a lot. That's a pretty decent blast radius, though. Please give me your soul. We've got like another five minutes. We'll give it another five minutes, you know? We'll just close farm and see what happens. Oh, you. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> Look, some ga sometimes video games are just easy, okay? Look. Sometimes all you gotta be is lucky. Amazing. Ama We're getting a new punch weapon. We are ending this episode getting a new punch weapon. Can you believe that? Can you believe we got it? I can't believe we got it. That was ridiculous. That was actually ridiculous. We opened this episode up getting a Valkyrie soul. One, one of the most rarest th uh, th rare things in the game. And without, without me remembering to put any luck gear on, I forgot to equip any of my luck gear. Whoopsies. Without get putting any of my luck gear on, we got the Hellboard drop right in time. Just clutch in time for the episode. Oh my goodness. Yeah, streamer luck, eh? That's me, though, so...
Give me a mock punch. Hope it doesn't get rid of the extra at reach. Probably will. Werewolf? What is the... Star? This says what it changes into. It says Whip Knuckle. This one changes into a crown? Have we seen a werewolf this game? Have we? No idea. Okay, so it's got punches. It said it did a bit more damage. Okay, so we got punches. I feel like we saw a werewolf, but then, like, sometimes... Sometimes enemies in Castlevania games kind of blur together, though, you know? Let's be honest. It's, it's just a fact. Maybe we haven't seen a werewolf. Hmm, me? I don't know. If we have, I'll... Wait, I can check. I can check. I can check. We'll check. We'll check before we end the episode, and then we'll go watch some cartoons. Again, the Discord link is in the, is in the description if you want to come watch cartoons with us. Uh, where's a saved place? Up and around. Okay. I'll uh, we'll go save at the place closest to where we're going, just to make my life easier. Okay. So it's just... It's just, uh, a good punch weapon. It's nothing terribly fancy. It doesn't have, like, the double strike. I was hoping it might have the double strike. Shoutouts to the Killer Clown card for being amazing, though. It's called Mock Punch. Oh, wait, did that double strike? Hold on, I gotta check one more time. Did that double strike? Did that double strike? Did... I do a double strike there. I think I might have. Let me see. No, maybe not. I don't know. I can't tell. Whatever. It, it's still amazing. I love it. You. Dying one hits. I can't tell. It looked like you were starting to do a double strike, but I couldn't tell. It might have an animation. Yes, that's, right, that's true. It probably was just an animation cancel. I won't know until I find a strong enough enemy to punch. And that's not going to be right now, so... I don't even have anything to farm. I was going to farm, like, a bunch of stuff. But I don't have anything I need, need right now. I've All of my dreams have come true. <laughs> if you've had a good time, like the video. If you've had a bad time, dislike the videos. Fair, fair, and I accept my fate. I hope that you have had a good time, and I hope to see you again real soon. And that soon is going to be on Thursday. What am I doing Thursday? Oh, wait. Thursday's going to be a Twitch stream. And then Friday, we'll be here for more of this. And I hope that you have a good time. Thank you so much. Good night, friends. <laughs>